Today's Tri-State PGA Junior Golf Minute is presented by Isley's. Joining us today is Penn State University men's golfer Jimmy Myers. Jimmy had a fantastic junior golf career in the Tri-State PGA, having success at all levels. And we're excited that Jimmy was able to stop by and answer some of our questions. Talk a little bit about, you know, you know, just getting out there and playing and kind of the differences between playing in the high school ranks and then obviously playing, you know, collegiately um, at Penn State. Yeah, so high school, I mean, it was it was a great it was great competition. It was great friends and everything, but not to tone it down or anything, but it's nothing compared to college golf because college golf is just it's so much more competitive. It's the top guys from each state like each team that play so you're always playing against the best kids they have a great knowledge of golf it's they take it a lot more serious they think about every single shot they have to think through the course and it's just it's a huge it's a whole different dynamic i mean it's it kind of at my first tournament i was just like i had to sit back for a second and just say like wow this is this is crazy this is not what i'm used to so Yeah, I think that's I think that's an, an interesting perspective, Jimmy. You know, you're 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 used to one thing, and then you get you stand on the tee of that first collegiate event, and it's a to, it's a totally different ball game. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I was sitting there on the tee. I looked around. I saw like like some guys that like the kid who's number one in the rankings in the Wagger right now. He plays for Duke. And I saw him and I was like, oh my God, like I've never seen that kid before. I'd never think I'd like be playing against him. It's just like the kids that you're playing against, it's almost like you watch them in like the US amateur and stuff like that. And you see them playing well in like some PGA tour events. And it's just crazy to think that you're at the same tournament that they are. It's just a whole, it's crazy. Excellent, excellent. And, and Jimmy, tell us a little bit about your process. So last year, you know, even before that, you're being recruited. Just kind of talk us through what you were thinking and, and maybe give the folks that are out there, you know, some some ideas on, on how that process worked. Okay, yeah. So me and my parents actually talk about this a lot because, I mean, we started off my freshman year and I freshman, sophomore year, like I talked to a couple of schools and we were kind of like, we have no clue what we're doing just because we've never really experienced this before. And we just, we were lost. So we had to figure it out on our own and figure out like what to say to these coaches, what to, um, and like how to reach out to schools and stuff. So, and then the more that we did, the better we got at it because we had to do it with myself and Jess. So it was it's definitely a really stressful process from the start to finish. And while I was going through it, it's just like everything all at once, like emails, phone calls with um, phone calls with coaches, going to visits, it's like all over the place and you feel like you have no free time and it's just super stressful. But I look back on it now and it was the most fun I've had because you get to see all the, all the coaches, you get to see all these schools, all the kids who play at the schools and it's just, it's an awesome experience. The the thing that I would say I probably missed out on is I didn't really like, during the process, I didn't really sit back and like think like how cool this is to be seeing all these different schools and stuff. I was just so focused on making a decision because it's the biggest decision that you'll ever make. I mean, it determines the rest of your life, what you're going to do, maybe what job you have. So it's just, you just got to sit back and think like how cool it is to Yeah, it's uh, you know it, it, you had kind of an interesting perspective because obviously you're going through it, but going through it with Jess as well. And for those of the, you that don't know, Jimmy and Jess are twins, um, and uh, they do a lot. They did a lot together, and, and we'll get to that in a second because I want to talk a little bit about you know you guys being apart. But um, it, it's interesting for you to be, to bring those kind of things up, Jimmy, and and talk about you know talk about what it's like to really go through that process. What ultimately made you choose Penn State? 
So I'd say what ultimately made me choose Penn State is I first off I knew a couple guys on the team and I was really good friends with them in high school. I played golf with them all the time. Um, the it's close. It's my parents can come up and visit whenever. My family can come up and visit whenever. And the kids on the golf team are driven. Like the times that I've met with them before, like in the summer or something before I even committed there. They wanted to play. They wanted to play their best. They wanted to go pro. And my biggest thing is I want to try and go pro eventually. And if kids on the team are just like, oh, I'm going to just have a job after. I mean, they're not, they don't really want to win. They're just more focused on other, other things other than golf. So I, I personally like how driven the whole team is, how they want to be the best. And also coach and I, I mean, he's a, He's been there for a long time. He's got a lot of pull everywhere. He he also wants to win, and he has a good vision for the program. So I just I just chose it because of how how good he is at everything, how good he is at managing the tournaments, how he knows he's been there for the past say forty years, I think something like that. So he's seen he's seen everything, and it's just, it just seemed like the right fit. I went up there fell in love with the campus and I never looked back. So. Yeah. The, it's, uh, you've got to have that feel and you've got to be able to, you know, make that work. So Jess is now eight hours away from you when you're at school. Is that about right? Yeah. About that eight, nine hours. <laughs> How's it been? Because the two of you guys were, you know, you're inseparable throughout high school and throughout everything. Jess talked a little bit when we talked to her, you know, about you guys always traveling to tournaments and, and those kind of things. Um, I, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but has it been a difficult transition for you? Yeah, it, it really has been because, I mean, at, at first, like probably my freshman year, she didn't really get – super like how do I say this super dedicated to golf until like probably my freshman summer or our freshman summer or, like starting sophomore year so like whenever I went to the course to practice in like eighth grade summer it was just it was kind of a drag like I mean I never never was bored by it but it was definitely not as fun as it could be but now like the last three or four years we've woken up at like eight or nine go to the course all day and it's the best because we can like talk the whole time we do drills together we work together and i mean we're super competitive so we always play like games and we we want to beat each other so it always pushes us to get better and i think that it definitely helped me to be the player who i am today because we always pushed each other we always wanted to go practice as much as we could we want to be the best players that we can be so it's definitely been hard having that being away from each other just because we've spent every day together for the past 19 years. I mean, it's definitely been tough, but we FaceTime probably two or three times a day, always keep in touch, text all the time. So obviously that's not being together in person, but we've, we've definitely made it work. So. I think that's it's interesting and, and you know, folks don't realize that, you know, and, and the fact that you both are playing high level division one athletics, division one golf. So I'm sure there are times that, that you, you know, FaceTime her, she FaceTimes you. <clears throat> Excuse me, and it's you know, it's just it's you know, this is going wrong or that's going wrong. And it's nice that each of you guys has that, you know, kind of that support network. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like yeah, like you said, have that support for each other. Like, I know since we've played in tournaments together and we've both maybe played not too well at a tournament, like, I know what to say to her when she's not playing well or if she's playing well, I know what to say to her. And she's the same way with me. So we just kind of, we, like, hype each other up or we bring each other up. So we just know what to say to each other. It's helpful. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's really cool. And... Uh, Last question for you. Um, obviously, your your freshman season gets a little disrupted um, by a, by this coronavirus. 
what, uh, what, what do you do now? I mean, where, what is your, you know, what's your plan moving forward? So my plan now, obviously, well, the range that I practice at is closed down now. So that definitely is a roadblock, but as my dad always says, he says like, you can always go over roadblocks or like they should never get in the way. So my Jess and I, we go out and play every day cause the course is still open so we can go out and play. And then we go down and do drills in the basement. So just to keep our swing in check, obviously we can't hit golf balls down there, but just maybe 20 minutes a night, just work on my swing, keep it in check for when I can go back out and practice. Awesome, Jimmy. Thanks uh, so much for taking some time with us. I know a uh, lot going on trying to get classes done and, uh, you know, just try and get things ready for the summer. Um, but I appreciate the time and uh, look forward to talking to you again soon and, and look forward to, uh, to following your collegiate career. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure. That was uh, Jimmy Myers. Uh, this is Tri-State PGA Junior Golf Minute. Thanks, Jimmy, for that great insight. This has been the Tri-State PGA Junior Golf Minute.